welcome in education success today we will discuss mcqs on complexity of algorithm the amount of time needs to run to completion is known as space complexity time complexity best case worst case correct answer is time complexity the amount of time needs to run the completion of an algorithm is called as time complexity of an algorithm the amount of memory needs to run to completion is known as space complexity time complexity best case worst case correct answer is space complexity the amount of memory needs to run to completion of an algorithm is called as space complexity of an algorithm two main measures for the efficiency of an algorithms are a time and space b processor and memory c complexity and capacity d data and space correct answer is time and space these are the two measures for efficiency of an algorithm the timing factor to determine the efficiency of an algorithm is measured by a counting microseconds b count the number of operations c counting the number of declarations d counting the kilobytes of the algorithm correct answer is count the number of operations the timing factor to determine the efficiency of an algorithm is measured by counting the number of operations in an algorithm how is time complexity measured options are a by counting the number of algorithms in an algorithm b by counting the number of primitive operations performed by the algorithm on given input size c by counting the size of data input to the algorithm d none of the above correct answer is by counting the number of primitive operations performed by the algorithm on given input size the time complexity is measured the most efficient algorithm is one that takes the least amount of execution time and memory usage possible while still yielding a correct answer a time efficiency and higher power efficiency b higher power efficiency and computational efficiency c computational efficiency and space efficiency d space efficiency and time efficiency correct answer is space efficiency and time efficiency dash of an algorithm refers to defining the mathematical foundation or framing of its runtime performance options are a symptotic analysis b a symptotic analysis c posterior analysis d priori analysis correct answer is a symptotic analysis a symptotic analysis of an algorithm refers to defining the mathematical foundation or framing of its runtime performance a symptotic analysis is a runtime bound b compile time bound c output bound d input bound correct answer is input bound a symptotic analysis is a input bound that is if there is no input to the algorithm it is concluded to work in a constant time other than the input all other factors are considered as a constant a symptotic analysis is dash bound a output b input c outer d inner correct answer is input a symptotic analysis is input bound that is if there is no input to the algorithm it is concluded to work in a constant time other than the input all other factors of an algorithm are considered as a constant the best average and worst case of an algorithm can be concluded by using options are a a symptotic analysis b tabulation analysis c regression analysis d symbol symbolic analysis correct answer is a symptotic analysis the best average and worst case of an algorithm can be concluded by using a symptotic analysis 
using a symptomatic analysis we can very well concluded the dash scenario of an algorithm options are a best case b average case c worst case d best case average case and worst case correct answer is best case average case and worst case using a symptomatic analysis we can very well conclude the best case average case and worst case scenario of an algorithm which of the following case does not exist in the complexity theory a best case b worst case c average case d null case correct answer is null case there are three cases exist in the complexity theory that are best case average case and worst case hence null case does not exist in the complexity theory which case indicate the minimum time required for the program execution correct uh, options are a best case b average case c worst case d none of the above correct answer is best case best case is indicate minimum time required for the program execution dash is the formal way to express the upper bound of an algorithm's running time options are a omega notation b theta notation c big oh notation d all of the above correct answer is big oh notation the notation or big oh notation is the formal way to express the upper bound of an algorithm's running time it measures the worst case time complexity or the longest amount of time of an algorithm can possibly take to complete to measure time complexity of an algorithm big o notation is used which options are a describe limiting behavior of the function b characterizes a function based on growth of function c upper bound on growth rate of the function and d all of the mention correct answer is all of the mention big o notation describes limiting behavior and also gives the upper bound on growth rate of a function worst case indicates maximum time required for for program execution options are a yes b no c can be yes or no d cannot say correct answer is s yes. yes worst case indicate the maximum time required for program execution omega notation is the formal way to express the lower bound of an algorithm's running time options are a true b false c can be true or false d cannot say correct answer is true omega notation is the formal way to express the lower bound of an algorithm's running time next question is the mathematical definition of omega can be defined as dash where n0 and c is a positive constant and n is greater than n0 options are a fn is greater than or equal to c g of n b f of n is less than or equal to c o c g of n c f of n is equal to c g of n d c1 g of n is less than or equal to f of n a is less than or equal to c2 g of n correct answer is f of n is greater than or equal to c o c g of n the mathematical definition of omega can be defined as fn is always greater or equal to c of g of n where n0 and c these are the two positive constants and for all n n is greater than or equal to n0 the theta notation is the formal way to express dash of an algorithm's running time a upper bound b lower bound c lower bound and upper bound d none of the above correct answer is lower bound and upper bound the notation the theta notation is the formal way to express both the lower bound and upper bound of an algorithm's running time the theta notation is used to describe the average case it is also known as tight bound the complexity of linear search algorithm is a o of n b o of log n c o of n square d o of n log n 
करें आंसर इज ओ ऑफ एन द वर्स्ट केस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ लीनियर सर्च इज ओ ऑफ एन बिकॉज एट द वर्स इन द वर्स्ट केस वी फाउंड एलिमेंट एट द लास्ट ऑफ द लिस्ट और नन ऑफ द लिस्ट द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ लीनियर सर्च इज गिवन बाय ऑप्शन आर ए ओ लॉक टू एन बी ओ ऑफ वन सी एक्सपोनेशियल डी नन ऑफ द मेन्शन करेक्ट आंसर इज नन ऑफ द मेन्शन द टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ लीनियर सर्च इज ओ ऑफ एन दैट इज द वर्स्ट केस द वर्स्ट केस अकर्स इन लीनियर सर्च एलगोरिदम वेन डैश ए आइटम इज समेयर इन द मिडल ऑफ द एरे B. Item is not in the array at all. C. Item is last element in the array. D. Item is last element in the array or is not there at all. Correct answer is D. Item is last element in the array or it not there at all. The worst case occurs in linear search algorithm when the item is in the last element in the array or is not there at all. The average case complexity occurs in the linear search algorithm when the search element dash a is in the middle of the array, b not found in the array, c is the last element of the array, d is the last element or array or not at all. Correct answer is is the middle of the array. The average case complexity occurs in the linear search algorithm when the search element is in the middle of the array. Kindly like, subscribe and share the channel. Next question is dash is the minimum number of steps that can executed for the given parameter. A average case B worst case C time complexity D best case correct answer is best case best case is the minimum number of steps that can executed for the given parameters the asymptotic notation o of 1 defines the complexity of type options are a constant b linear c polynomial d n log n correct answer is constant the notation o of 1 is nothing but the constant if an algorithm time complexity is given by O of 1, then complexity of it is A constant, B polynomial, C exponential, D logarithmic. Correct answer is constant. The growth rate of that function O of 1 will be constant. If for an algorithm time complexity is given by O of n, then complexity of it is A constant, B linear, C exponential D none of the mention. Correct answer is linear. The growth rate of that function will be linear if the complexity is O of n. Which of the following is linear asymptotic notations? O of 1, B, O log n, C, O n, D, O of n log n. Correct answer is O of n. It is a linear asymptotic notation. O of log n is a constant asymptotic notation, b logarithmic asymptotic notation, c polynomial asymptotic notation, d quadratic asymptotic notation. Correct answer is logarithmic asymptotic notation. If for an algorithm time complexity is given by O of log 2n, then complexity will be A constant, B polynomial, C exponential, D logarithmic. Correct answer is logarithmic. The growth rate of the function will be logarithmic. Therefore, complexity will be logarithmic. If for an algorithm time complexity is given by O of n square, then complexity will be Options are A, constant, B, quadratic, C, exponential, D, none of the mention. Correct answer is quadratic. The growth rate of that function will be quadratic. Therefore, complexity will be quadratic. If for an algorithm, time complexity is given by O of 3 divided by 2 raised to N, then complexity will be. Options are A, constant, B, 
quadratic c exponential d none of the mention correct answer is exponential the growth rate of that function will be exponential therefore the complexity will be exponential here thank you for watching this video kindly like subscribe the channel don't forget to share the channel thank you